Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about next interview question. So we are going to discuss about one of the most asked uh, interview question in the Java, right? So as you all must be knowing that I have started a Java interview series. So this is the fourth video in the series of Java interview questions. So today's question is how to create an immutable class in Java. So we are going to discuss about this in detail. So make sure to watch the video till the end. But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys, please do consider subscribing. It will really motivate me to make more such content for you and I'm sure the channel will be helpful for you. So do subscribe my channel and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. Right. So I hope that you have done all these things. So before discussing about like how to create an immutable class in Java, first of all, let's discuss what do you actually understand by immutability, right? Sometime during the interview, interviewer do ask that uh, here, like if you are mentioning this term immutable, so they do ask like what do you understand by immutability? So basically immutability means that we cannot, we cannot alter, we cannot change the content of an object. So that's what uh, an immutable object is. But if but if some person is trying to change the content of that particular object, then what will happen? Then a new object will create with the with these new changes that has been done, done by the person. Right. So it is not going to be the same object. A new object will be created with those modified modification with those changes. Right. So that's what immutability is. So I hope that you must have understood. So now let's come to a question that we are going to discuss. That is how to create an immutable class in Java. So for this, there are certain rules. So let's discuss them one by one. Well, one point that I would like to specify here is that all the wrapper classes in Java, all the wrapper classes in Java, like is integer, integer, boolean, byte, short, all the wrapper classes in string, they all are what? They all are immutable. They all are immutable so this question can also be asked to you during the time of interview so for making a class as uh, immutable there are certain rules the first one is that so the first one is that the class must be declared as final now why so the class should be declared as final because it so that it cannot be extended so that it cannot be extended right or in short if, if I, have, I have to say so that the child cannot be created next one is that data member of the class data member of the class should be declared as private now why so well that's easy because direct so that direct access isn't allowed if you are declaring them as private so direct access to the data members isn't allowed next one is that data members data members of class should be declared as final now why so so that we cannot change the value let me write here we have to declare them as final so that we cannot change the value of it after the creation the fourth one is the fourth one is uh, you should have a parameterized constructor because obviously you have to initialize the data members right so for this we'll be uh, we'll need a parameterized constructor right and next no setter method will be present no setter method will be present getter will be there so no setter method will be there although getter method will be there right because setter method what is the use of setter method to change to alter to modify the value right and this is a this is a what this is a immutable class so that won't be allowed so setter method is not going to be here so these are the rules that you have to follow to make your classes immutable so now let's have a look on the practical implementation as well so that you can get a proper understanding so here this is student class is what immutable this is public so that it is visible final i've already explained so that it cannot be extended and you can see the data member is what this is private as well as final private so that it cannot be accessed final so that value cannot be modified and here we are having a parameterized constructor as well for initializing the value and here we are having a getter method as well setter method won't be present here right so this is following all the terms all the you know things that we have just discussed so this is what this is a immutable class in java so whenever as this question has been asked to you you can specify the rules and even you can just show them an example as well so yeah that's it from this video i hope that you must have understood that how to create a immutable class in java thank you for watching this video guys keep learning keep preparing bye bye